morning happy tuesday guys how's everyone doing today i'm doing well thank you for asking well it's a beautiful day a little bit chilly out not too bad it's not frosty chilly but it's nippy out beautiful day beautiful well today's kind of a special day guys for me anyways it's my 50th birthday it's your birthday today Michael. me young mike the baby of the family 50 years old now this video is kind of uh just go gonna go over a couple of different things and uh i like to call this segment walk and talk so let's go ahead and start off with saying uh talking about a little history with me uh, now some of you know this already and so you're going to tune out and that's fine and some of you don't uh, i think it's interesting to learn about people personally so i want you to learn a little bit about me uh i hurt my back when i was 25 years old I worked construction uh, the whole time from February 94 till December of 2008 uh, with a six month break in between here and maybe a year and a half off here to stay at home with the kids. But that's, you know, that's about it. Otherwise it was construction the whole time, uh, which means I practically hurt my back. Uh, pretty much as soon as I started working construction <laughs> kept working kept working you know <sighs> had two new kids new house fairly newly married and uh, I remember laying on the couch being in such pain and uh, just crying because I was, I was hurting so bad. And uh, I just tell my wife, you know, I'm not going to be able to be a good husband or father. I'm going to be crippled by the time I'm 50. And uh, I remember that to this day. And uh, it was an emotional time because, you know, at that time in our lives, especially for us guys, we're in God mode. You know, we're like gods strong fast amazing everything uh so to be knocked out that quickly and that easily and uh you know pretty much disabled really uh it uh it throws you for a loop and it's not fun and uh, keep in mind all these years i've never been on pain pills or anything like that i don't do drugs drink smoke do nothing so no comfort as far as that goes <laughs> so you know thinking back and this is going to touch on another subject that's part of everything and the reason why i'm thankful that i'm here is i know that that's when my depression started i mean that's that only that's only common sense you know you feel like you're losing your life and your mobility you know you're gonna get depressed now let's add on top of that I've had a motorcycle accident let's add on top of that that I had 12 pieces of drywall fall directly on my head and I was on my knees coming up out of a house and the whole stack fell over on my forehead seriously the whole stack uh i have shoulder and i have shoulder injuries i have tendonitis or tennis elbow i have arthritis uh you know i've got a lot of setbacks and i've got a lot of problems and a lot of these things you know uh they tear you down pretty good mentally physically emotionally spiritually everything 
And that's a lot of stuff to have happen to your body. You know, your back is out. You got 12 pieces of drywall falling on your head. You get in a motorcycle wreck. Your shoulders are, both my shoulders got thrown out from different lifts. One shoulder at one friend's house, the other shoulder in another friend's house, and within probably a year or so of one another, if that. Uh, over the years, that kind of subsided and popped away, luckily enough. Uh, I was actually going in to end up having surgery on my right shoulder. I mean, it was all set up and everything, and I, I decided to go ahead and work out one day. Me and my buddy uh, that I actually uh, work construction with, we were at my house working out and I benched and my shoulder popped. And uh, I went down with the weight, went back up. I was benching like 300 or so pounds. Went back up with it and I sat up and I said, did you hear my arm? He's like, yeah. I was like, oh my God, I can move. I can move my arm. <laughs> so, whatever it was in there, scar tissue or what have you, uh, it popped it back out so now I you know there were still issues later on you know there was still pain and stuff but you know not to the degree that it you know it finally worked its way out long story short then in 2015 winter uh, early like February March I tried to play disc golf and I destroyed this arm, my right arm even further from throwing and hard extensions throwing the disc. Because when I throw a disc, I'm trying to throw it around the world, not just to the basket, but around the world. So anyway, totally ripped this all up, scar tissue, pain so bad that, you know, almost useless i couldn't reach around my back i couldn't put my arms up here i couldn't reach in the refrigerator i couldn't do anything without triggering uh all the scar tissue and the rips and all that anyway it's subsided it's it's doing better now it's not healed but it it's a thousand times better so we're just kind of going over a few things that have gotten me to this point you know uh and uh, what you know, things that help trigger your depression and and all that. And uh, you know, I didn't I didn't know if I'd be around to see 50. That's kind of what all this is getting around to. I didn't know I didn't really know if I'd be around because you deal with depression, and uh, you know, there's a, a lot of times there's not a good outcome when you deal with depression. We all know that a lot of people take their lives, end up on drugs, alcohol, you know, just a, a total waste. Or, you know, put a gun to their head or jump off a bridge or what have you. So, you know, and all these things happen. And uh, really my depression really started kicking in 2010. You know, you have personal problems. Let's just say marital. You know, you have certain problems and certain things. Just, you know, they they take you out. So, 2010 until today has been rough. And, uh... So... I'm thankful that I'm here today. I'm thankful I'm not strung out on drugs and alcohol. I'm thankful that I've been strong this whole time. I'm thankful that even though I have back pain all day, every day, and it varies from being annoying to completely out and uh, to where you can't even do anything at all except for uh, hope that you pass out or something from the pain. I'm thankful that my arm, the pain has subsided and I'm able to work out. I'm thankful for my wife. I'm thankful for my kids, my grandkids, my family. Look at me, I'm walking. Years ago, 
when I was laying on that couch, 25 years old in tears, telling my wife I'm gonna be crippled by the time I'm 50. <laughs> and I won't be any good. You know, I used to pray. There was a time whenever I was religious. I'm not anymore, thankfully. I got out of all that. There was a time that I used to pray. Please God, please kill me. Please take my life. Please put me out of my misery and send my wife a good man and my kids a good dad that can uh, take care of them and love them and uh, do things right and be there for them. And there was a time I used to pray that every day, every single day. That's rough. You're in a bad you're in a bad place when you're saying stuff like that. When you're begging and pleading to die. You're in a bad place, guys. <laughs> and I'm thankful that I'm still here. I still have bad days. Things are not always going to be perfect for sure. You know, the damage is the damage that people can do to you stays there long after it's done no matter if you move on or you know try to think as positive as you can the, the damage is still there but I'm here this is my story whether it uh interest someone or not you know that's up to you but this is my story and kind of where I've come from and uh, you know there's just a lot to it it's hard to sum up just in one quick little video you know it's just it's hard to put it all into words your life you know it's my life look at that sun Ooh, you can't see it the camera's adjusting for it oh boy is that bright I love it I love a good bright sunny day you know uh, touching base you know I, I wasn't sure if I'd ever get to work out again because of my arm but as soon as I'm looking into getting just a an FID bench and a couple dumbbells and thinking to myself you know even if I hurt I need to get a little bit of strength training in just a little so I was looking at buying just the bare essentials just some a couple of used things and just to you know get a little something in my daily life because I couldn't do push-ups anymore because arthritis in my wrists and instantly at that point is whenever my shoulder stopped killing me to that degree five years I mean almost five years to the day I mean really close to probably five years to the day go figure isn't that crazy and now I'm able to work out this whole year I've got my new gym equipment everything's going I feel good you know I still have limitations of course because the shoulder's not healed anytime I do presses especially shoulder presses I can feel you know where it's really kind of pulling and injured uh, I can still feel it so I have limitations I'm not nearly as strong as I once was or big as I once was and that's good I'm losing weight because that's what I want to do a uh, whole lifestyle change guys the way I eat everything my consistency my persistency my dedication everything and uh, for those of you that also don't know, I started cycling in uh, February 2016, and I just quit recently doing that as my daily exercise this July, mid-July. Because time constraints, I work out, I walk, and I cycled, and so that was taking hours. Everything was, you know, just taking a long time, a lot out of my day, and it was wearing me out too, cycling that much. So, uh, along with feeling endangered on the road, I finally just got tired of it and uh, people trying to kill me out there. So, 
uh, that's what's led me to sticking to spinning. I just put my bike on a little trainer and I uh, spin and that's that's my cycling. Uh, that's not to say that I don't get the bike out and just go back and forth in my neighborhood once in a while and get in, you know, three, four miles extra on top of my spinning. Or I might take my bike out to a bike safe trail park area and ride around and get a few miles that way as well. But as far as daily, uh, my daily activity, no, I quit doing that mid-July. And uh, I'm still going strong spinning i enjoy spinning i really do so uh i want to touch on something else kind of disappointed but i'm also excited at the same time uh, a couple months back probably three two three even four months back we'll say i thought you know what by the time i'm 50 i want to be able to jog a mile again and not just jog a mile and pull myself and puke myself across the finish line but i want to do it with some class you know like i did whenever i was young when in my early 20s whenever i was jogging so about every 10 20 walks i would do i would jog you know from this driveway to that driveway that telephone pole down to that telephone pole or you know jog 500 feet a thousand feet couple thousand feet whatever you know just periodically do that and just kind of get my body used to doing that because again you know haven't been able to do that really in years with my back and my bad hips and knees and feet and ankles and all that it's just it's you know and being overweight and being unhealthy uh it just I could I could hardly do it let me go back a little bit um, and then I'll get back on this last summer is whenever I started really walking so I've been walking uh, over a year now uh, I started walking last summer and uh, I was going to the track at the high school and I think I went there actually with the intention of uh, trying to jog a little bit is what I also went there for but I tried jogging and I got it on video you can go back no you can't because that's on my other channel anyway and uh, I've got me on video and that's a that's an eye-opener right there because the track is roughly a quarter of a mile around one time and I could barely pull myself around that quarter mile I've got it on video huffing puffing breathe you know red of course it was in the summertime but you know and keep in mind I've been cycling all these years up until that point so you'd figure you know you'd figure I could at least do a quarter mile pretty easy but nope and that was an eye opener right there so at that point i just kind of i gave up on the jogging and i just kind of at that point it clicked in my mind i need to walk so ever since then i've been walking at least once a day most times twice a day and my walks are anywhere from 1.8 miles to two miles every time so anyway i go from pulling myself and about passing out trying to even do a quarter mile to now I could do a mile which is where I'm at right now which is what I was getting to I had plans to document myself jogging a mile by the time I turned 50 today now it was in between the time that I thought about doing it until today anytime in there up till today as long as i did it by the time i was 50 i was gonna be happy so last week was one of my you know i was walking and i thought well i need to go ahead and do one of my little jogs and try to train and you know be prepared because i'm almost 50 you know next week i'm gonna be 50 so i think it was last wednesday 
So I walked from my house down to this stop sign right here. I turned around and I said, okay, let's go ahead and start jogging right now. So I jog and I go to the end of the neighborhood. I come back to the stop sign and then I, I don't know, maybe I went to the end again, but I, I don't know. Anyway, I done lost my track, my thought. Anyway, it ends up, sorry, I got to keep changing angles of the camera. Again, I have bad shoulders, so it's hard to even hold a GoPro. Uh, so anyway, I'm heading back. You know, I turn around, I, I'm heading back and I get to my driveway and I'm like, I better stop right here. I, I might be getting really close to a mile, so I better stop. This is definitely the furthest I've, I've jogged on one of my little training moments. So I stop and I continue my walk to finish it out. I gotta go to the end of the neighborhood, turn around, come back and go home. So I get that done, I upload my map and all that good stuff. And, and then I go on Google and I pull up my location and I map it out where you can do the distance and map out your distance and all that good stuff like I've done for the past seven years, six years, however long it's been, five years, 1200, anyway. So I map out my distance that I ran. And when you know it, I jogged a daggum mile. It was 1.1. <laughs> and I was like, I was happy because I was, I did it with ease. I'm not saying I could have jogged five miles, but I could have went two miles probably. So I did it with ease. <laughs> but I was disappointed because I didn't get to document it. That was going to be a milestone in my life of actually jogging a mile with class and dignity by the time I turned 50. So I didn't get to document it. Now, I didn't have to tell anyone this story. I didn't have to mention it on Facebook or anything. I could have just realistically made a video today or since that time until today uh, and uh, made it out like it's the first time I did it. But that would have been me lying to everyone else and to myself. So I didn't do that. I just, uh, I documented it that day, let people know you know, wow, I did it and I didn't get to document it. So I was proud of myself. I'm still proud of myself. And uh, even though I didn't get to document it the way I wanted. Uh, sorry, it is cold out here. Uh, so even though I didn't get to document it the way I wanted, uh, I still did it. So I still jogged a mile before I turned 50. So I did it last week. I believe it was Wednesday uh, and today's Tuesday. So it was a proud moment that I, uh, that I did that. So anyway, things are going pretty good. You know, as long as my personal life, you know, relations and all that and everything is okay. As long as health is okay, as long as things stay on track, I'm good to go and I don't feel like I'm stopping. Uh, I have plans, I have goals. I wanna get my brand out there, the D-I-T-I, -I, do it to it. I wanna get my brand out there and get popular and get famous and get, get my message out there because we need a good positive message. And that's what my shirts are about. That's what my message is about. That's what my brand is about. And I need people to push me out there. I need people to order my shirts. I need people to advertise like that and get my brand out there so people see the good message that I portray. And it's something I came up with back when I started doing my cycling and everything. And it's progressed into what it is today. And my message has always been to get up, get out, get rad and do it to it. And what that means is, and I've had people ask, Mike, what's that even mean? I mean, it seems pretty, you know, self-explanatory to me, but let me go ahead and explain. Get up means 
don't be laying down and letting life pass you by don't let life beat you down stop being lazy stop uh you know following the the trends of just you get to a certain age and you do nothing and uh, don't let life beat you down in depression and uh, you need to get up guys so get up is the first part of winning you got to get back up get out means not only get outside get outside and do something be active you know that that could be walking jogging cycling planting a garden tennis kayaking climbing a mountain jumping out of an airplane whatever it is you want to do get up get out get out can also mean get out of your mind stop wallowing around in that depression and that uh, those feelings and you know free your mind get out of here so get up get out and get rad it pretty much means get radical look up the definition of rad and radical it means get awesome get gnarly get bitching get wicked get kicking baby do something and be awesome doing it that's what rad means if you're gonna do it be awesome at doing it be rad and do it to it means put in your effort every time that you do it try not to half uh way do it you know what i wanted to say i don't cuss on here or in my life i cuss around my wife okay we won't get on all that so do it to it means exactly that whatever it is that you're gonna do do it to it do your best and make yourself proud at doing it and if you're gonna do it you know let other people see that you're doing it and be proud of it and you can be a good inspiration to others by doing it to it with your full capacity guys with your whole heart now my channel my other youtube channel that i supported for like six years mikey sun tv m-i-k-i-e-s-o-n tv all one word i touched base on all these different subjects topics my lowest passions hobbies from art photography drawing painting coloring to cycling and uh, being active and book readings for kids movie and tv discussions video game playing and discussions uh, cooking taste tests uh, hot challenges to playing darts to family vlogs and discussions and uh, opening up about things just like I have in this video and uh, everything My, that that channel touched on everything so that was me doing it to it uh, and putting it out there and uh, hoping to touch with a lot of people I've since I uh, just recently uh, stopped supporting and promoting that channel because it, it wasn't really going anywhere again I've mentioned it before the reason is is you know the YouTube and YouTube algorithm and what people are interested in and all that typically isn't that type of channel uh, they want you to stick with one subject and kind of branch out and talk about things around that subject and that's pretty much the consensus and the way it's done so that's the reason for the body beatdown this channel we touch on all things fitness from walking and talking to working out to cycling to diet i don't like to call it diet but we'll, we'll call it diet to foods uh everything so this channel's dedicated solely to fitness the fitness lifestyle being active being healthy taking care of yourself so i might i might have gotten off track i don't even know where i'm at this video is kind of important because it's a milestone so i'm trying to make sure i touch base on most things <sighs> Whew, 
again my shirts my brand i'm trying to get out there i'm trying to spread a positive message with my diti logo my brand my message to get up get out get ran do it to it you know people like to support nike reebok la gear some old brands there uh people like to support red bull and monster and all these other popular things a lot of these things don't care about you and they have no real message or meaning behind them i do it's about perseverance it's about struggle it's about overcoming it's about winning day after day the struggle of life it's about fighting depression fighting loneliness anxiety it's about mental and physical and emotional pains these things these topics are really important to me because i know about them i know what it's like to struggle in every aspect of those so here i am i'm fixing to finish up my walk for the morning fixing to jump on my bike and spin and then i'm going to eat today is chest day but i'm also going to do a little extra for legs that i didn't do yesterday on my leg day so i am going to do uh, chest and just a little bit more on legs today i'm going to celebrate my birthday by living uh, the best day i can because today at 50 years old I didn't know if I'd be here and I surely didn't know if I'd even be able to walk so I'm thankful I'm thankful to myself for not giving up guys I could have easily given up and gone the route that so many people have gone in my same position so if you will if you've made it this far I appreciate it and if you will consider spreading the word of my shirts and my designs my logos get me out there it's very important to me spread my channel i'm gonna walk just a little further than normal uh, spread my channel the body beat down okay like share subscribe comment all that good stuff i'm also on twitter i just kind of dump some random stuff on there i just started twitter whenever i was put in facebook jail this last week for zero reason <laughs> but that's another subject you can go back and look at that video and uh yeah so get my channel out there get my name out there get the positivity out there all right and we're gonna beat this body down from top to bottom inside and out one day at a time and we're gonna do it together on the body beat down with me michael at the age of 50 that I wasn't sure if I'd even make it to. I love you guys. I love all the people that stuck with me through Mikey Sun TV and who's followed me over here. I love uh, all the new people and I hope to meet all of you on here and on Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff. And we have a great community and uh, we're here for one another. And anytime you need to discuss anything, yell at me, okay? So we're ending this walk guys have a good day be safe be awesome and don't forget get up get out get rad do it to it we'll see you later on the body beat down get up get out get rad and do it to it